Welcome, welcome. So, Nate Simpson, the creative director of KSP2, gave another update on progress in the KSP2 forums. So, let's go through it and see what it gives us. Um, first of all, there is version 0.2.2 being mentioned. Unfortunately, there is no launch date yet, as mentioned down here. Um, that's unfortunate, but it's coming. It's coming. So, he mentions that V0220 will address a number of issues. So... There is no mention about any new features, any new parts being added. Like in some V1 0 0.1 update, we got those uh, highly efficient Mephalox engines. Nothing like that in the working, according to this post. So let's go over the issues mentioned here. First of all, I had that a lot of times. Parachutes don't deploy reliably. Yeah, had that a lot of times. Very much welcome fix. Next, pairings don't protect their content from heating. Again, had that, very annoying. Nice fix. Then, I didn't have that one quite as often. I had it in very early days after the initial release but since for science i didn't have the trajectory lines not being visible anymore but yeah eradicate all the bugs that's great then also i had that in uh, one of my uh, latest videos and it happened on minvas or the man i guess it was the man uh, a landed vehicle it just fell through, through the terrain after time warping and going back to normal speed and yeah it just was inside the man falling down very annoying and yeah, again a nice nice fix so the sixth one fifth one mentioned here is maneuver nodes that refuse to allow the player to plan beyond the calculated delta v allowance Yes, I know that. I didn't have the wrong delta v allowance calculation lately. But sometimes it does not calculate anything and just says you have zero delta v and then you cannot create any maneuver nodes at all. Very annoying. And their fix for that is basically to just allow you to um, continue... Where does it say it? Yeah, here. Yeah. Just letting you plan beyond your current Delta V allowance. That's basically the fix. Small fix, easy fix, but very welcome. Okay, what else uh, have we got? We have UX improvements for especially new players. Uh, he mentions like confusion between what is revert to VAB and what is return to VAB. I get it, it can be confusing if you don't have a lot of experience with this kind of stuff. Also, a better indication of when your vehicle is recoverable and what to do there. So, very welcome for new players. We have some time warp UX improvements, basically uh, indicating that you are in time warp, like the time warp state that you are in. And also, Better indicating if a feature you want to use is available in Time Warp or not. Because that apparently led to a lot of a lot of issues where people thought features are not working, but they are actually only not working or not allowed when you are in Time Warp. So, there we go. Better UX is always nice. Then it gets more interesting. That's it for version 0.2.2.0. And what comes now is just a lookout on the colonies update and some other stuff that's going to happen. So 
Nate says that most of the team right now is still pointed on working on the colonies update. So the first thing that is going to be mentioned here is um, especially the, and I see this naming for the first time, the Base Assembly Editor, BAE. It's basically the colony version of the Vehicle Assembly Building. So apparently there's going to be an own UI to build your bases, colonies. I'm really, really looking forward to see how that works. Um, also, of course, they are working on the interaction between the uh, vehicles and the colony parts, like here, and on the systems and physics level. So physics seems to be an issue to solve, as well as how the systems of colonies and the systems of vehicles work together. I don't know, maybe ex exchange or that you are delivering or whatever, right? Some materials or power or yeah, those kind of things. Very much interesting stuff to see how they solve that and what features will be there in the end. We'll see. Um, so that's it about the colonies update really. And then he talks about some things that he also says won't go into the 0220 update, but anyway, it's worth mentioning. They will come in some update at least. So apparently they improved um, uh, VRAM, like the graphics RAM usage on the planets uh, a lot, like really a lot. like. On Jewel, for example, it's almost not measurable anymore. Or on, on most of the other ones, it's like a 60% improvement, I would say. Pretty impressive. Uh, next, there goes uh, uh, Lookout on the works of uh, Black Rack that recently joined the KSP2 team. Uh, was a famous, I would say, modder before. And he's working on some cloud improvements like yes multiple layers and it, it really looks awesome you you wouldn't believe that this is an in-game screenshot right it, it really looks impressive i'm i'm super looking forward to launch my rocket through these clouds maybe even with illumination or oh yeah that's gonna be beautiful and the last thing that's being mentioned is Work happening on the graphics of exhaust plumes. They seem to be working on making them more realistic, which thankfully is also quite beautiful as well. Yeah, looking forward to have that in the game as well, but not in the 0 0.2.2.0 update, unfortunately. And that's basically it. That's what we know so far for the 0220 update as well as the colonies update. And what do you think? When will we get the update? The 0220 bug fix update. My guess is, I don't know, three to four weeks. We should see that coming in. Really looking forward to it. Yeah, you will of course get a uh, patch notes video here once the update is released. And until then, see you on the channel. And bye bye.